And when we talked, I knew this yeah, vibe we are through. Too. Like, I knew this is the person that I've been looking for. And I feel like I'm so happy those other people said no. Me too. Because look at us. Who are yeah, our yeah, chemistry? Like, like, even the first time we met, we had so much chemistry. And like, we, we could have shot four episodes the first yeah, time for sure, we met. For sure. Yeah, for sure. I really enjoyed and we knew. Hi dear lovers and heartbreakers, welcome to a very first episode of Love and Other Drugs. We are your host Lillian Wenda and Vivian Tom Tom. Please join us as we embark on this journey where we'll be talking about uh, the most intriguing and controversial topics around love, life and everything in between. We're going to be having very candid conversations ar ar around about all that matters. And since you guys don't know us, um, I think the best way to, for us to go about this is to, to let you guys get to know us. But before we do that, please guys subscribe to our YouTube channel, um, Love and Other Drugs KE. And also please follow us on all our social medias at Lillian Winder underscore and at V Chum Chum on all social media platforms. So um, let me just ask you first of all, how do you feel today that is our first episode for a vision that we have had for a really long time? I'm really, really excited. Oh my God, we're doing this at last, babe. Can you feel your heart beating? A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> yes. So please join us each week as we dive into this world of romance, as we're sharing our personal stories, experiences, and insights with you. So to help you guys know us better, we have formulated a series of questions that are just going to guide us in in like what to let you guys in on. Of course, you're going to go, uh, to get to know us um, even much better as we interact more. So, Lee, are you ready? Yes, please. Okay. Yes, we've done this episode, Get to Know Your Hosts. Our first question, are you ready? I feel like a job interview. <laughs> please don't feel that. We're just having like, just heart to heart, yeah. light conversation. All right, so please tell us uh, about you. And if you have any uh, unique experience that has shaped who you are, you can share that with us also. My full names are actually is correct English. I no, checked. it's your full name. Your means. identity is one. So you say my name as yes. my identity is. But if I'm stating my names as a list, they are <laughs> Vivian <laughs> Chum Chum Chavez. I am 24 years old, a recent graduate from the University of Nairobi, where I studied economics. The University of Nairobi. The, the University of Nairobi, where I studied economics and um, communication. I've had a little bit experience with the corporate, but right now I'm, I'm in between jobs, so I am a full-time podcaster, and okay. I am a passionate feminist. For sure. Interesting. Uh, I wanted to ask the second question as mm -hmm. your education and career. Oh, sorry. It seems like you've already sold us. <laughs> but okay, for me, my name is Lillian Mwenda Kirote. Oh, oh my God. As much. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, also, I've just grown up in a very kind of family. I have two brothers, big brother and a small brother and my parents. So please, if you're a boy and you're hitting on me, you're gonna go for Ride Along. Have you watched Ride, Ride Along? Ride Along, yes. By Nani. Yeah, Kevin High Cube and Kevin Hart. Yeah, you're gonna be taken for Ride Along for sure. <laughs> ah, yeah. So the next thing that we wanted to talk about is our education and career life. Mm -hmm. But I don't know, maybe you can, I don't yeah. know if there's much more that you can tell us about that. Pre I think pretty much what I have said. Um, I've had a little bit of experience in corporate. I've also worked in NGO and I was in a reality show actually last year for young li women leaders in Kenya. But I feel like that's, that's, nice. that's about it for, nine, for right now, but you'll get to know me uh, better as we proceed. For sure. Okay, for me, I've done a bachelor's in mathematics and computer science. Well, Peace. Well. Yeah. I'm a kachupi. Oh, smart baby. Um, I've also done a postgraduate in pedagogy What's and when I that is teaching basically uh, uh, you're taught yeah. how to teach you're, i'm a professional teacher <laughs> even me say uh i was a lecturer in 2021 the whole of 2021 i've worked in yeah in there you've been you've been in the streets yes so okay. <laughs> yes of corporate for sure uh but right now i work for another company to public in, i work Civil, in public sector yeah yeah uh but i'm not gonna mention the company definitely for the obvious reasons 
um when i went there i went as the it guy uh as a what what was the title ict officer i think that yeah mm -hmm. or ict officer that's my designation uh but i transitioned to uh what to digital marketing so basically i do social media management and um look how this even in tamari so well with yeah. this because basically i also create content there exactly. and i really love it i feel like i get paid to do something that i really love doing yeah which is a very big plus for me um what is the next thing uh yes basically that's just about my education and my career also by the way in case you have like social media that you want managed or something like that please holla at your girl i'm gonna do digital marketing for you i'm gonna create content for you and all that look me i'm plugging my, my business exactly. <laughs> i'm plugging my business here yeah <laughs> yeah for sure Anyway, uh, the next thing that we're gonna talk about is our favorite interests, our favorite, our hobbies and interests. Is there anything to have a hobby? I do actually. I love swimming, but I don't get to swim a lot. I think because of you know the ups and downs of life. But I really like to swim, and interestingly, <laughs> interestingly, I learned how to swim in high school. You know, we we actually had a PE as a subject, and the teacher was so brutal. You actually had to know how to swim. So I ended up liking it. But I like swimming like when in vacations. And then I just chill on the sunbed and take a cocktail or a milkshake. Also, I love to sing a lot. I sing when I'm cooking. I sing when I'm in the shower. I really, I think, yeah. Those are the two things I'd say I love to do a lot. I can't sing to save my life, man. <laughs> uh, but when it comes to hobbies, personally, I really I, okay, it's watching. I watch a lot, definitely. And traveling. I want to travel. I don't travel as much, yeah. but basically, that's what I'm really trying to do. Like, especially for this year, I want to travel a lot, especially go to the beach. Yeah. When you talk about swimming, imagine I don't know how to swim like, very well. I don't think I'll like, drown, but I usually put on a bikini and look cute, take photos, and go on the shallow hair uh, end and just like swim a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the next thing is, are you in a relationship? <laughs> are you in a I am most definitely not in a relationship. <laughs> well, <currently>. definitely most. <laughs> most because definitely. for the first time in my life, no one is going to sue me for saying I am not in a relationship because I am not in an entanglement, I am not in a situation. But I am in talking stages. <laughs> yep. Several <laughs> talking stages. Uh, yeah. At a Mimi, bro, your girl is on the streets. I mean, these streets so badly are very single. Definitely not claiming no one. I don't know if no one is claiming me, but definitely I'm <laughs> not claiming no one <laughs> from my end. I'm not in any situation or entanglement. Mm. Definitely, yeah. There are always some talking yeah. stages because there are always boys out there trying to. But for the record, both of us have been in relationships. We have been in good relationships, we have been in toxic relationships. So. <laughs> When we talk about when we'll be talking about relationships in our coming episodes, we will be talking uh, from a point of experience, not from a point of hypothetics. So yeah. I just feel like yeah, it's important for us to know that we have been in long term relationships. I have been in a long term relationship. But what is a long term relationship? I even don't know. for more than um, six months. No, right now. If if I if I meet you today and then we are dating and then we for like four months. That's long term. Uh, <laughs> you is long term, uh, but for us, like consistently, we are hanging out every weekend. Okay. That is long term. Yeah, for term. sure. Long term sounds to me like three years, seven years. <laughs> but right now, come on, right now, marriages are three years. Yeah. What <clears> should <throat> mean long term relationship? <laughs> yeah, that's relative. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, for sure, we're gonna be giving our personal experiences yeah. and stories. So please, hang around. You're gonna get be getting a little of juicy. Just a, just a story. We'll be giving out information that you you absolutely do not know, do not need to hear. Yeah. But we still and say some TMI also. <laughs> a lot of TMI also. I know. I am. Um, so the next thing is, um, how did we decide to start this podcast? That's You're my gonna, favorite you question. Want to, uh, that okay. is my favorite question. Please, grace us. <laughs> so... For the longest time, by the way, since I think I was young, I always used to be a person who likes to communicate. Actually, I love communication. So even in my career, I, I tend to lean towards the communication aspect. So everybody, like when YouTube channels became popular and podcasts and like people talking on social media and making a living out of it, I was like, 
this could be me, but why, why am I not doing it? And then when I, uh, when I discovered my passion for feminism, I just felt like it's important for me to, to uh, since I have a voice, I would like to use the platforms that are available for us to even propagate that voice even higher so that I can impact people in a small way or a big way. And then I searched and searched the ends of the earth for co-hosts. When the whole time, my co-host was in my DMs, we were just talking. We, we used to actually have like really heated conversations and like deep conversations about issues. But for, since we had never met in person, and it never occurred to me to ask you, like, can yeah. we do a podcast? Also, the fear of rejection. I just like, what if I, I cannot be rejected by a girl? Really? Okay, that's sexist. But I was just like, it would hurt me so much more. Actually, the thing is, it would hurt me so much more to be rejected by a girl because if, I, like, I want it and then you don't want it, it's so painful. That's so interesting. Yeah. <laughs> and then one day you posted something about a topic that I care about that we're going to talk about in our coming episodes, and I just like, it's now or never. Mm. And the rest is her story. History? Her story. Mm. Right. Feminism. Oh, history. <laughs> no, no, yeah, for sure. So, on my side is. I have like an auntie who kept on telling me that you need to start a YouTube channel. And I've always actually also wanted to do the same. I've talked to a lot of my friends. Imagine me, I've been rejected several times because mm -hmm. honestly, I asked my friends, I've asked my colleagues, like, bro, can we do like a podcast? I would like send them like some of the topics that we're going to be discussing. But I don't know. People okay, are just like, yeah, we can do that. But they were like not really yeah. committed. But I always feel like it's alignment because mm. when you texted me, imagine, babe, I, I know I told you this, but I also had another date with some random chick I met in some party that we had. And I told her, have you ever thought about starting a YouTube channel? Then she told me, yeah, yeah, I'd be interested. Mm -hmm. So we were supposed, I think, to meet with her on Tuesday and you, we had our date on, on Wednesday. Wednesday. So she didn't show up. Oh my god. Then you showed up and when we talked I knew this yeah, vibe we are too. like I knew this is the person that I've been looking for and I feel like I'm so happy those other people said no. Because me too. Because look at us. Who are the first time we met we had so we, much chemistry and we, we could have shot four episodes the first yeah, for time sure, we met. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah. I really enjoyed and we knew we we're gonna like yeah. start right away because we, we met it's in the last month. week of March. Yeah, and we had already we were saying exactly, like we're gonna yeah. be starting. It's like we both met when you we were both ready to do it. Yeah, for sure. The, yeah, because the the first thing we we're just like discussing, we discussed about like kind of the topics the, that yeah. we're gonna be talking about. Yeah, uh, we discussed how, how we're gonna start and what we actually trying to achieve. Like it yeah. was such a vibe, and it I'm so happy you involved. The day that you said yes to me, this sounds like a proposal. <laughs> I was yeah. so happy. I'm so happy. Me My too. God, we're here. And also, I, I feel like another reason why it maybe I was a bit shy to like approach people and ask them to, to do podcasts with me is because I, you know, I used to judge from my corner. I'm like, oh my God, podcasts are so all, all over. Everybody's having an opinion and publishing it on social media. But I was like, exactly. If everyone is having an opinion, what is one more opinion? Why, why shouldn't you have <laughs> yours? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, for sure. Okay. That's interesting. Yeah, but I had posted a photo. I think we will just put it here. Okay. Yeah. You, you put it. I will, I will show you that photo. It was about uh, dark skin women yeah, with color hats. Yeah, so she told me we can be discussing things like this. Yeah. So it was like, yeah, for sure. But also, when you met, you know me, I feel like my, the kind of, if I, if I had started a podcast alone, I wanted to talk about um, like specifically feminist issues like social activism, but also when you when I met with you, I just discovered that you don't need to limit yourself to one thing. Yeah, you can sure. achieve everything that you want in this podcast yeah. and still have fun. Yeah, for sure, for yeah. sure, hundred um, percent. So the next thing I think we're just gonna talk about how you came up with the name and what are the goals for of this podcast? Yeah. Yeah. Do you wanna go first? Love and other drugs. No, please. I love you. <laughs> So uh, the journey, the journey to us um, selecting this name was really long. It was for sure. <laughs> devoid of potholes anyway. Um, we had like a, we, we each came up with different suggestions that we wanted. Like, we had the, because the vision was one, the vision was the same, but you know the way everybody would package their vision in different ways. So we had like around 10 names from the start. And then we put them on a poll. Actually, when we put the first batch of names on a poll on Instagram and asking our friends, love and other drugs was not among them. Yeah, for sure. We still look for a different name. 
and then you even started working with that name like with that name in mind until one day you just sent me another random list of names and I told you I love love and other drugs yeah yeah she picked it right like away. I was actually a bit I said that because I was like oh my god yeah I was just like, oh my god, this is it. Yeah, and yeah, she knew from the word exa- this is it for us. I, I always knew, like <laughs> I knew you were the one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I feel like it covers the vision that we have. We'll be talking about love, we'll be talking about other drugs of life, like relationships, sex, travel, leisure, fashion, everything else, from the perspective of two young girls who are just navigating life. Yeah, for sure. So, yeah. I don't even think I have. The name of your brainchild, but I fell in love with it the moment you said. Yeah, that. for sure. Even before I did. You fell in love with my child even before I did. <laughs> with our child. Oh, our child. Just because you gave birth to it. I'm the dad. Yeah. <laughs> you even realize I'm the dad. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, you did, babe. Okay. Um then I think I'll just talk about our our what? What is it? Was it the vision? Yes. Our goals, sir. Huh? Yeah. Uh, so basically, we just first of all we wanna have fun doing this because we describe ourselves as two best friends who love to talk. Yeah. So we're gonna be having like the most intimate conversations that we usually have in our bedrooms yeah. and personal spaces. But we're just gonna be doing with you here, listening to us. Yeah. So please feel very welcome, and uh, we wanna have fun first of all, basically. And number two, we wanna grow because we want bigger audience for this. We want to talk about the most controversial and interesting topics that cover thing, all things around relationship, about even colorism and yeah. other issues that exactly. we face as women. And um, I think no, for, for sure. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Uh, do you want to continue? Sorry. Yeah, this <laughs> uh, that is on our short term goals, but mm-hmm. definitely as we grow, I hope we will also grow mm-hmm. and probably at some point be able to monetize and make money out of it. Because to be honest. <laughs> Production is not an easy thing. Yeah. Yeah, chasing it requires the a lot of. We're chasing the bug. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, when you mentioned the book colorism, I also said we, it was important for us, and I feel like we aligned so well because we want to have a representation of darker skinned women on this social media space. Yeah. We don't see a lot. I mean, they are there yeah, are darker are. skinned women, but we just want to add into that representation and. Yes. The more the yeah, better. The more the, more the, the merrier, exactly. right? Yeah. Yeah, so definitely, yes, we also want to represent young girls that yeah. can know that you can be dark skin and pretty and, and exactly. smart and yeah. everything else. Please don't limit yourself to one thing, like yeah. maybe books or whatever. Yeah. You can do all of it. You can yeah. do all of it. Because she did, Absolutely. become I did uh, mathematics. mathematics and computer science. You can say we are smart. We're yeah. beautiful. Yeah. So, yeah. yes, and we want to represent everyone, yeah. especially the darker skinned yeah. women out there. Yeah. Yes, I think that's just about it, babe. Is there anything else that that's you've not it. talked about? Yeah, I want to ask you something interesting that I told you, by the way, before we started shooting. Should and I, I didn't want to ask you <laughs> off camera. <laughs> so when you met me, because we had interacted um, in, in business perspective, but virtually we had not ever met in person, mm-hmm. what was the first impression you had of me? Were you like underwhelmed? Or were you like, oh my God, I, I have to get used to her? What was the first reaction? <laughs> Please well, be kind. I was punched. Be kind. <laughs> no, for sure, no. I had seen your photos and all that, so like I was not like surprised. Do I look like my photos? Yeah, for sure, you do. What? You do. Oh. You take a lot of videos and a lot of photos. Yeah, you look yeah. like them. Yeah. yeah. But actually, when I met you, but I always found you interesting. I used to respond. Yeah, to we used to chat things. so much. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. So when we met, I actually didn't expect this level of chemistry that we had. Oh. I remember even sent a friend of mine our videos and they said that we have a lot of chemistry. Oh. Yeah. So I think what what I liked like most about like our first meeting is like the level of chemistry that we had. We were like telling each other TMI, like we went we did we know each other for long time. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. We we really talked about um even personal things and our dating yeah. stuff and everything on the first date and yeah. the ghetto that it is, bro. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, and you? I feel like you are much more awesome in person, but it's not a bad thing. No, that is actually a nice no. thing. Like, yeah, I'm saying the, the bad the bad is not a bad oh. thing. Oh. You are tinier than I thought. <laughs> you are so small. I'm so born. I didn't say this. I'm 5'3", bro. That is not tiny for a girl. Tell me. Most of the so chicks are tiny. 
for that. Please, please, you guys tell us in our comment. What do you think? Five three is the right. You are so small. <laughs> really? And then you open the door. The is so huge, and then I was just seeing you with your bag. I was like, oh my god. Please, Kaka. Yeah. I actually thought you were like. I thought you were like five. But actually, I, I, I think it's because you're tall. I actually yeah. also thought about wow, this chick is tall. So, right? yeah. <laughs> because I'm not used to like. I think most of my friends yeah. are like. Your height. height. Imagine oh, yeah. that is weird. But my friends are shorter than me, but they're not five three. Okay. They're like five seven, five five on the shortest. Really? Interesting. Yeah. So let me ask you. Um, would you date a short guy? I would. I have dated short Please guys. Please do not come to me be short. Because but but, <laughs> but you know it makes sense for you to not date shorter guys yeah. because who, who is dating a child like five two for a man is a child. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but I think Kevin Kevin Hart is like five two and oh, and Kevin and, Hart. And there's and also that other guy. Yeah, there's also that other guy. It's called what? Bruno Mars. I think Bruno Mars is also around the same height. You date them? No. Okay, I, I want to date someone who is a bit taller than me for sure. But most of people, most men, I think, are taller most than me. Most men are taller than you. <laughs> I would date a girl shorter than me. I have dated guys, particularly because of my height, yeah. and also just because I, I feel because I grew up tall. I've always had limited options, so I had to get comfortable with dating people who are shorter than me. Yeah. But me, Mr. Like Kid, too, me, Jet, yeah, me, and them. Me, Jet, me, Jet. <laughs> no, please let me be the midget, be the bigger, bigger person, okay. literal speaking ah, terms. Yeah, the bigger spoon. <laughs> yeah, so, so that I can be telling you, how can I be the bigger person and I'm a tiny person? How can I? Trust I me, I could never, ever be a bigger person in a relationship. And then, now that I think I've done how many minutes? 20. Yeah, they said 20. We want to play a small girl. Oh, so yeah. We finish. I almost forgot about that. <laughs> what? Yeah. We want to play at this or that so that just randomly, just I'll ask you, answer quickly, and then we move on so that you can finish because we don't want this episode to be very long. Would you marry for love or marry for money? I think I'll, mar- I'll, I'll marry for money. We can always fall in love as we go. Me too. <laughs> Okay, actually, got to take Can it be a little bit of both, or you have to no. be one? It has to be one. It has to be one. Uh, let's say. Of course, I feel religion. like the correct answer is in the middle. But now, yeah. like, which radical extreme would you? I think. I think. I think I will go with religion, me so too. that my family will not come at me. <laughs> me too, because I particularly feel like there's a certain hope that religion gives me. Yeah. That probably I wouldn't find in science, but I respect science. Yeah, why no whiskey? Ah, for sure. Like, I love whiskey. I love me some whiskey, but I'm picking wine. Me too. I really like. Well, I'm doing the same things. Me too, because I could drink wine every day, but I cannot yeah. drink whiskey. Yeah, for sure. Day. Or like when you go for like a date, you just like. Yeah. I want my mom to ask for the whiskey, neat on the rocks, and me I'll ask for like wine. <laughs> Sweet. Because you're still you're right. typing wine and whiskey. Yeah, for sure. Wine is feminine. Yeah, wine is feminine. <laughs> For sure. Don't sorry, you think? Yeah, wine is absolutely feminine. But yeah. I'll, I don't mind a guy drinking wine though. But I would prefer yeah. if it drank yeah. whiskey. Please. Neat. <laughs> no, whiskey neat or, or like with ice cubes. Yeah, definitely. Neat with on the rocks. Yeah. yeah. Uh, did I ask you about would you choose to die uh, of a fatal accident or a deadly disease? Fatal ex- accident. Please, let me just go when I'm going. I, I don't want to be sick. But what if you get an accident and then you get paralyzed for 10 years before you die? Can I just die? Please, I don't want to I don't wanna get paralyzed for sure. Come on. Let me just die. Okay, <laughs> so just die. I don't want to struggle and suffer for a long time. Let me just like die. This is an interesting one. Would you date a short, ugly, and rich guy? <laughs> or a That's tall a girl, guy with average money? Yeah, the second one. Definitely. What? He has average money, bro. But and he's tall and he's handsome. Average money still means you guys work so hard. You have to take long swans in a while. But I, I rich, I... rich Kevin Hart. Oh, okay. I think I think I'm good. Kevin, I... Kevin Hart or your boyfriend? You know me. You know me. You know me. You know me. <laughs> okay, for sure. I think I'm gonna go. You said short, ugly. But he's yeah. ugly. I I won't go with short. But how ugly is this ugly? <laughs> I keep people, people, my family will make fun of you if you're very ugly. I keep my family so unforgiving. I would choose like... short, ugly, and rich. You know why? Okay. Because if you have money, it's so much easier for me to love you and to overlook your weaknesses <laughs> than if you're. Uh, no, you cannot be bringing looks to the table. Yeah. I don't. 
Okay. With even inflation. Uh-uh. Okay. Come mm-hmm. on, this 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 guy, the singer from I don't know is DRC or some country, the short grand 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 P. Grand P. With a very nice looking mama. Yeah. Yeah. You know, people look. But they be. Ladies do not have standard when it comes to money. Exactly. Don't speak anyone. Money is the standard. Yeah. <laughs> but, anyway, but if he's rich, he's going to look nice. I think I'm also going with that one. Thank if he's rich, rich. Okay, okay, look at the way we work in a diamond. And when they were like starting, I'm not saying he's like ugly. Of course, he's good looking. But when we're like starting. Yeah, they're like, ugly. Plus, yeah, he's he's like, you. Nice. I'm going to make you look yeah, good. I'm I think I'm also going with the rich. Like if he's like properly rich though, like properly rich. I think we can do one last one before yeah. we finish. Mm-hmm. Um, beach vacations or safari? Ah, definitely beach vacation. Please beach for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, I and, like and, and I think I, I, I have to say this again because I look good in bikinis. So you definitely do. beach. So please go to my my Instagram, Lilian Wenda underscore. Please check out my bikini photos. You okay, tell me if I don't look nice. Only, did you say only fans? <laughs> Don't I would choose. Sense. I would choose beach, not because I wear bikinis, but because it's stressful. I just feel like I'd rather that stressful. Like, or stressful? Uh, restful, it's oh, restful. restful. Oh. I'd rather that I've seen a lion once in my life, or like I don't need to see I don't it need again. To see a lion again. Yeah, I also love the beach. Yeah, it's so coming. Big very, masses of weather, very, just like very, the vibe and, so and the wind and the sun and the, and the salt and, and the, the warm and the so and drinking, underrated. especially if you now tell that the it's morning. like all inclusive. You start drinking whatever time you want. Tent. Then you go to the uh, beach, you see. You chill out at a lookout bar at night. Then at, at night you can also go deep yourself in like um the what the jacuzzi or yeah, uh, the bathtub like, yeah. and like drink. I know. It's everything. I could live. I could go on. I, I could go on vacation my entire life without getting tired. Yeah. Okay. I would. But you need the money for that. That's why we picked the short guy with the money. Yeah, that's why, we, that's why they do because, the short yeah. guy with the money. But I think we are done. You can yes. Yeah. Thank you so much, guys, for joining us for a very first episode. We're so excited that you guys were here and watch up to the end. Yeah. Please come again next week on Tuesday because we're gonna be releasing episodes every Tuesday, uh, from next month. That is from May, uh, at eleven a.m. and Thank you, babe. That was nice. Yeah. Do you have anything else to say? God bless you. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, and subscribe. You. We forget. We'll not be forgetting that. Yeah. Please subscribe to our, uh, to our YouTube channel. Um, it's a podcast, so you can also be able to watch us in Spotify. Add, yeah. Add and, and, podcast. Spotify and, and you Google follow us on, on, on the podcast page on Instagram, Love and Other Dance KE. Also, on Twitter and actually. TikTok. Yes. Instagram, you handle? Yes. Uh, Lila Manda underscore. Be chum chum. Yeah. All right. So, so. God bless you.